Hello, it's Mike with Bridget Productions, and what I'm going to show you today is the Walker Evans suspension links made specifically for the Razor XP1000. And I've read a couple reviews about these, and everything I see, um, people say they love them, they like them. I mean, uh, you know, RJ Anderson uses them on his uh, new XP1K4 video, so. I mean, if he's using them, they gotta be good. Um, and the main thing with these, what they're supposed to do is, is um, allow you wheel articulation at slow speeds, such as rock crawling and, and uh, at high speeds, they remain stiff so you don't get the body roll. And just as a quick demonstration, I'll show you is, if you push down, it actually does go down and slow. And then if uh, hard impacts, it's not actually um, taking the, it's not actually absorbing. Um, and what it appears here is about, about a half an inch uh, or so right there. And then it's got this little rubber damper right here, which probably gives it about a total of an inch to inch and a half of dampening before uh, you but uh, what I'm going to show you is so like I say the the reviews on these people have come back they said they're well worth the money they love them I kind of do think I perhaps did feel a little difference with the riding style of machine but like I say uh, without having a ton of miles on I guess I can't verify that 100% but what I'm going to show you is there is a inch and a half to two inches probably um, wheel articulation that does happen with the Walker Evans suspension links over the regular sway bar links that uh, comes standard with Polaris so uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack it up and you'll see you might not be able to see with the camera but the whole entire machine frame will will uh, start to come off the ground right away as soon as i um put the jack and it hits the frame of the razor and like i say i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but i'll try to uh see if it'll show here but uh so right there we have now made contact with the with the razor um swing arm and now you can kind of see as I start to push you might be able to see the frame start to lift off the ground and this is on the first push and you can see the frame came right up I'll set it back down okay so now we're back I have installed the Walker Evans suspension link there and it's uh it literally will take you longer to grab the tools to install it than it is to install it. So no real, uh, it comes with instructions, so no real need for me to elaborate on that. But uh, what I'm about to show you now is the um, lifting of the rear, uh, wow, well, uh, link here anyway is the uh, swing arm on the razor and you'll actually see it does absorb about the inch and a half two inches before it does lift the frame and i'll show you the wheel that comes off the ground too so there we go. So we've made contact with the frame right there. So now watch, you'll see the link absorb in the sway bar or the uh, swing arm is going up, but the frame is not moving. And now the link will continue to rise as well as the swing arm and the frame is not moving. And now with this one, I'll probably get the frame to move. And right there, the frame moves. Now I'll show you the tire about how far it come off the ground. 
uh, I'd say it's probably about two inches off the ground to about where the where the uh, swing arm met its compression with the Walker Evans link and came off the ground or the body started to move off the ground and I'm guessing you know you could compress more you know a little hit with a rock would uh, you know probably absorb more of that little uh, orange rubber bushing before the frame actually started to move um, the frame should move yeah pretty regularly now so but I'll show you one time one more time here um, but there there it made contact with the frame and now watch the link it'll there it's absorbing and now maybe you can see the frame the frame won't move quite yet but right there and again it tires off the ground about two inches so the walker evans link uh suspension sway arm links uh what's written about them through the walker evans website and everything walker evans says about them is absolutely true you do get about an additional two inches of of wheel articulation for the rock crawlers and uh, I guess slow turning small bump stuff like that before the link does come into play like uh, the factory Polaris uh, sway bar links so your decision worth 300 bucks or not for two inches but uh, either way I think uh, I do like them they seem to uh, ride pretty good this uh, Last time I was out, and I did about 70 miles. Um, other than that, uh, enjoy.